do you want to know what kind of relationship is there between age and body transformation? So welcome to this video. Hi, I'm Jana Mendelova. I'm a founder of uh, Health Connection Academy and I'm on a mission to help 100,000 uh, entrepreneurs to achieve independence using manifestation reverse engineering system. I'm a creator of independent manifestation formula, uh, formula and uh, health connection mastery. Today, I would like to share with you uh, some information and also tips uh, what uh, uh, you need to uh, have in your mind uh, when you uh, decide uh, to uh, start doing workout, when you start to do uh, body transformation so that uh, you can succeed uh, no matter what uh, uh, age you are right now. So I start again with uh, sharing uh, my list I have prepared for uh, today. So um, today we will speak about uh, the relationship between age and body transformation. Uh, first, uh, we will speak a little bit about uh, age in the terms of years uh, so that we can understand uh, the differences between, uh, between uh, every uh, part of our life. Then we will uh, speak a little bit about body age. Then what is uh, the best age to change uh, your body to uh, do body transformation. Uh, and then a little bit about uh, current uh, condition and other factors. So, uh, first of all, I would like uh, to uh, tell something about uh, age in the terms of years. <clears throat> of course, uh, it's uh, very important uh, to uh, make a, a group uh, of children. So uh, until they uh, finish uh, the development and maturing uh, of the body, the approach uh, is a little bit uh, different because uh, it must be uh, also, uh, there must be, must be some care uh, of the uh, body that is necessary for growing body. Uh, then uh, there is uh, the age uh, of adults when uh, the changes uh, are <laughs> more uh, about uh, going uh, down than going up. And uh, uh, then uh, there is a part uh, of uh, people who are already older and uh, where uh, the declining is quite weak. Uh, if I can say it uh, in this way. So uh, when we speak uh, about uh, children, uh, yes, uh, uh, small children usually don't undergo uh, body transformation, but uh, adolescent uh, usually want uh, to uh, do some body transformation. So here it's uh, very important uh, to uh, have in mind that uh, they are still developing, uh, that they are still growing, and there are big uh, hormonal changes, uh, changes uh, in their bodies. It's one uh, group. The other group is about uh, adults, uh, mm, where uh, the approach uh, can be very similar because uh, the body is already developed uh, and uh, um, after, as uh, the age is going up, the condition is going slowly down. Slowly, yeah, uh, uh, if everything is ideal, then the declining is really slow. And then there is a last group uh, where, uh, again, uh, the approach uh, must be uh, a little bit changed because uh, the uh, declining is quite steep and uh, there are older and old people, yeah? So here uh, the main problem is usually osteoporosis, uh, where uh, it's necessary uh, to have in mind uh, that uh, the bones are not so 
uh, wrong, uh, and uh, uh, also that uh, there is no um, big flexibility uh, in uh, this age. So uh, the starting of the body transformation uh, must be a little bit slowly. It's a little bit uh, about uh, the age in the term of years. Of course, uh, this is important, but most important, uh, more important thing is uh, the body age. What uh, do I mean uh, by this? Uh, just think uh, of uh, people of your age, uh, you are meeting uh, every day or <clears throat> maybe only from time to time and uh, uh, look uh, in the mirror and uh, then uh, remember them and ask yourself whether uh, they are looking the same age as you or they look younger on, or they look uh, older uh, than you and uh, you will understand uh, the body age. Body age means uh, that uh, we can uh, look younger than we are, or we can look uh, the age we are right now, but also we can look older than we are. Uh, these things depends on uh, how we behaved until now to ourselves, what kind of diseases uh, we uh, had, uh, whether we underwent uh, some operation, uh, some surgery, or we had some uh, injuries, etc., etc., etc. So, uh, for body transformation, it's most, uh, it's more important uh, to uh, know your body age, uh, so uh, that uh, uh, you can start according to your body age, not according to your age uh, in the terms of years, but according to your body age. Because uh, uh, when uh, mm, you can uh, have, uh, for example, men, as I had uh, one uh, patient in my practice, uh, that uh, when I called his uh, name, um, I think I thought uh, that uh, there was nobody uh, there, uh, that that person wasn't there. But uh, uh, a man who looked uh, 20 years younger than I was expecting, according to uh, his date uh, uh, of birth, came up uh, to uh, my uh, room and uh, I was surprised. So when I have a man who looks 20 years younger than he is, then also the approach is different because uh, I can give him uh, the approach and also uh, all uh, the advices as uh, if he was 20 years younger because his body is in good condition and he can start as if he was 20 years younger. But there are also the other uh, there is also uh, the uh, other example when uh, I'm looking for a person uh, who is, for example, uh, 30 and uh, I can see somebody at the age of 50 or maybe going to uh, 50. So if I have this kind of person, I can't start uh, to uh, work with him according to his real age in the terms of years, but according uh, to, the, uh, to the age he looks like, because his body has probably some problems. Maybe he was just behaving badly uh, to himself, but probably there are some diseases, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, the approach will be according to his body uh, age. And we will start a little bit slowly uh, and then according to uh, the process of uh, body transformation, we can uh, then speed up a little bit later. So uh, this is uh, the small explanation about uh, body uh, age. 
And uh, now to answer uh, the question that is very, very often, what's the best age uh, to transform your body? The best age is the age you are right now. Yeah, uh, because uh, the best time to transform your body is the time when you decide to do that. Of course, there are some advantages of uh, being adolescent when the changes of the body are quite, quite quick and uh, you can uh, change your uh, body uh, quickly. But it's also said that uh, uh, people in this age uh, don't have big discipline and uh, they are not uh, able uh, to continue in the uh, process. Of course, there are always, uh, um, there are always uh, exceptions from uh, this general idea, but uh, this is advantage and disadvantage of adolescent. So uh, when we go uh, to the middle age, I will call it middle age, uh, these uh, people um, usually are in a good condition, so uh, still the results will appear quite quickly, not as quickly as uh, in adolescent, but still quickly. Uh, and uh, in this age, it's said that the discipline is much better and that uh, also the cooperation is much better. So uh, also the results can be really big in quite short term. And then we have older persons and old persons who also can, uh, who also want to change uh, their uh, body. So uh, here uh, is, uh, the disadvantage that uh, the changes start very, very slowly, but uh, these people usually have time. They are not uh, in a stress that they need it until uh, in two or three weeks or uh, in uh, three months. They have time and they can do it slowly in their pace. And uh, it's the, uh, uh, these uh, people also learned, or it's said that they have learned to be patient. Uh, so uh, the patience is their big advantage. As I have already said, there are always exceptions from these rules, uh, but uh, the general opinion of uh, these uh, three groups is this. Then uh, we had uh, on our list uh, one, uh, two more uh, points, and uh, it's uh, current condition and uh, other factors. As for uh, current uh, condition, uh, now I'm not speaking about the body age, yeah, because uh, probably uh, the I will take men. Uh, probably that man really looks uh, um, as uh, the person of his age, but um, for some reasons, he uh, is uh, now uh, not in a good conditions uh, in the terms of strength, uh, flexibility, uh, endurance, uh, uh, or stability. So he has some weak points, uh, <clears throat> probably uh, he is weak because he wasn't doing uh, anything physically, he was uh, uh, just sitting in front of a PC and uh, doing uh, his work uh, through PC. And uh, he wasn't uh, walking uh, a lot, so also endurance is not uh, good enough, but he's strong. Uh, points are, for example, flexibility and probably also somehow uh, stability. So uh, it's uh, very important to know what parts uh, of uh, the four basic uh, exercises are in a good condition, in not so good, and in a bad condition. And uh, from this point uh, to uh, also create the program 
for uh, body transformation as uh, uh, for uh, diet, drinking, and uh, uh, but, uh, physical exercise. And the uh, uh, last uh, point of our list uh, are other uh, <clears throat> factors uh, that uh, other effects uh, uh, and uh, it's uh, whether the person has some disease. If there is some disease, uh, then also uh, some part of the body transformation uh, must be changed according uh, to uh, the disease. Or if uh, there was some surgery or some injury in the past, it can uh, have influence uh, on uh, uh, diet, uh, on uh, drinking, and also uh, on physical uh, exercise. So these all parts are very important to think of when uh, you are going to start to do workout. So I believe uh, that uh, this information helped you to have a picture of what uh, is uh, necessary to think about when you want uh, to start to transform your body. So uh, I keep crossed uh, fingers so that you succeed in body transformation. Thank you very much today for your attention and see you tomorrow. Bye.